Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I make my false lashes, even really long dramatic ones like I'm wearing today, look very natural. I've done false lash tutorials in the past, hopefully you'll pick up a few new tips for this one, or in this one. Um, but I really just wanted to share with you all a look that I think is really great for summer. It's not super heavy. Don't think that when you use false lashes you have to do a super over the top eye look or make it super heavy. I love heavy, um, heavier, smokier looks as well. But in the summertime, sometimes I think it's fun just to sort of make it a little more natural. But I think anytime really, it's good to know a few tips to make your false lashes look a little more natural. So I'm gonna kind of take you through what I did here. You don't even have to use eyeshadow. Um, so I didn't really show what I did because it was just so easy. Um, some of it I did. But basically I just used my IT Cosmetics um, palette here and I used the soft light shade all over my lid and I used the sunrise shade in my crease and a little bit of this medium brown mocha shade right up underneath. So nothing crazy. Everything else is the eyeliner and the lashes, which I'm going to show you how I did the eyeliner and the lashes because the liner is a very key part in how to make your lashes blend and look as natural as possible. So don't think that you have to use ones that are super natural or that look more natural. I actually used some that are very long and a little spiky and I'll show you. These are the ones that I use, so the Ardell 104s. They are very long and you can see that they're um, a little spikier than some that look a little more natural, I, th I guess. But I do really love those. I love how they um, blend with my own lashes. I do have very long lashes anyways, but even if you have the shortest lashes, you can use those. And it's all about, I think, how they meet your liner, the mascara that you use beforehand and all that. So I'm going to give you some of my best tips. I'm also going to kind of show you a few things that I did with my makeup as well to just sort of complete the look. So not like a full-on complete makeup tutorial, uh, but but yeah, you feel me. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that you'll pick up a few new tips. And if you want to see exactly how I make my false lashes blend and look as natural as possible, even the crazy dramatic ones, then keep watching. So my first step when you want your lashes to be totally blended in is to start with the liner. It's just the most important thing to me in getting the lashes looking just perfect and seamless. So I'm using my IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Eyeliner in Black Brown. It's just a really natural shade. I'm not being super precise. I'm just kind of putting this down so that I can blend it out in a moment and make it look pretty soft. And you'll see, I'll take you through what I'm going to do in just a second. But just a little bit on the lower lash line as well because you don't want all the action on the upper lash line. You really want to keep it balanced. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. My biggest tip when choosing the liner for this first step, because I really do believe in layering the pencil before the liquid or anything else if you're going to go for a liquid after this, is picking one that really is going to blend out well. This is more like a soft, just a bit of a softer formula. And then I like to tight line just super lightly my upper lashes. You don't have to coat your waterline. We're just filling in any obvious larger gaps. Now when I start to smudge, I sort of like to use a really precise brush so that I can, can kind of see I'm almost creating like a really soft wing with it. So you're softening it, but you still have that control. It's not like you're smudging it all away like if you used a Q-tip or something. And for that I like to use a Sigma E65. It just works so perfectly for this. I'm going to do the same to the lower. To get it even softer, I'm going to use my E30 by Sigma. This is actually the synthetic version that is in the Bunny Kit, which is the awesome kit with the all synthetic brushes. So next we're going to coat a liquid liner over the pencil liner. Not completely, we're going to keep that blended sort of effect that's coming out from around it. We're just going to hug really, really close to the lashes. This is going to create a seamless base for the track of the lashes to sit so that there's no gaps. That is the biggest tell in false lashes. So you can see just how thin I'm making the line. I'm not winging it. I'm not doing anything. I'm just keeping it really, really clo Ooh, oops, close to the lash line. This to me is just my absolute favorite. It is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Liner. I think I said that already. But next I'm going to use that same E30 to just sort of smudge some brown shadow over that liner on the lower lash line just to kind of make everything match. 
The mascara that I'm using is my Chanel La Volume de Chanel. The biggest tip, whether you've got you know long lashes like me, which aren't so long until I apply the, the mascara, or if you've got really wimpy lashes, that is okay. You just need to beef them up as much as you can with a mascara. Don't think, oh, I'm going to put on the lashes. I don't really need much. You know, the lashes are going to take care of that. Really, the mascara is what is going to help those lashes really blend with your own and make them look even more natural, even if they're more dramatic lashes. So I like to wiggle the wand right at the base and do not neglect your lower lashes. If you've got all that going on on the top lash line, you've got your false lashes, all of that liner, all the darkness, you don't want to have bare bottom lashes because again, it's going to make it look even more fake. So definitely don't neglect them. I do like to take this clean little spoolie rather than continuing to work with the wand itself and gooping on too much product. This is just going to help make them look a little more even, take out any clumps that you might have, just make them look better. This is a kind of a different tip for false lashes, but get your brows right. They do frame your face. You're going to be drawing attention to this area, so make sure that your brows look good. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in Taupe. I'm going to use the Ardell number 104s. Definitely measure them to your eye and snip off any extra. You don't want them to be too long. I use the Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive. I kind of got it in a pinch. Um, I grabbed it from Kroger, just a local grocery store, and it holds much better than the Duo. And I think it might dry a little better as well. But the Duo is great too, just kind of an accidental discovery. I just sort of lightly apply it like so with my little tiny pink tweezers. I line it up on the outer edge first because we've already measured it to the inner corner. And When you do snip that off, any of the excess like I showed before, snip it off from the inner corner. It'll look more natural. And you don't want to snip off any of the long ones on the outer anyways. I flip my tweezers over to the non-dangerous side so no eye pokage incidents occur. And I just sort of make sure that it's squished literally, <laughs> kind of squished that a little too much, as close to the lash line as possible. You can see how that glue is already drawing. That was probably only like a minute later. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Place it and make sure that it is stuck really well. So while totally unrelated to false lashes, I thought I'd go ahead and include the rest of the tutorial. I'm using the Hourglass Radiant Magenta and an F10 brush by Sigma and I'm using the IT Cosmetics CC Warm Radiance Ombre Bronzer, such a mouthful, and my Chanel Number no. 2 Angled Brush. I'm just doing this as sort of a bronzer and a contour, just a very light, light contoured effect, nothing super, super harsh, just applying the bronzer where I would a contour. And then I'm going to take the lighter half of that sort of as a highlight with an F35 brush, just to the high planes of my face. And then for my lips, I want to just do a really beautiful rosy pink. And I'm going to take the Dervish Lip Pencil by MAC, which is one of my absolute favorites. I can safely say it probably is my very favorite lip pencil. Just really, really beautiful. Easy, easy to wear. And next, a product that I have been loving for a few months now. My sister-in-law recommended it. And I've just loved it. It is the It Lip Stain in Je Ne Sais Quoi. Creates this really beautiful rosy tint. Gloss isn't necessary with it, but I like to use a little bit of something sometime. It's the Chanel Constellation. Really, really beautiful and sparkly. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the look. Don't be afraid of false lashes. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.